Mario Brothers. We haven't talked about Mario Brothers in a while, except for in the context that, you know, Barbie continues to catch up to it, hunting down that number one spot. But as of right now, Mario Brothers is still the number one film movie of the year. And it continues to add money. It's, it's still out there in some international markets because according to Deadline now, Mario Brothers has crossed the $100 million mark in Japan. We all knew it was going to be big in Japan. But that number may not sound very big to us in the North American market, but it's major in Japan. Deadline said this. With Tuesday's grosses, Illumination slash Nintendo slash Universal's The Super Mario Brothers movie has crossed the $100 million mark, 13.74 billion yen, in Japan. In doing so, it becomes Universal's top title ever in Japan. In local currency, Mario overtakes Top Gun Maverick as the number six Hollywood film of all time in Japan and is the number one studio picture since the beginning of the pandemic. Look, we all completely believed and knew that Mario Brothers was going to be big in Japan, but now becoming the number one picture ever in the country of Japan for Universal and the number six all-time Hollywood film there for an animated film, that's pretty damn good. I think there's a couple of things there, though, that I, I think are pretty informative for us, though. Number one is that Mario Brothers is still out there. It's still working on trying to pad that lead it's got over Barbie. Now, it's making nickels to the dollar now compared to what it was when it was in the heart of its release, but still, still out there making money. But I think the second thing is, I think it's going to catch some people by surprise that making $100 million is enough for a major Hollywood studio's number one all-time film in that market. You know, a lot of people, I, I was having this discussion with somebody in the comments section, actually, about how, well, such and such movie hasn't even opened in Japan or Korea yet, and that could add another half a billion dollars. It's like, hmm, got to understand that these, as movie markets, those markets don't generate those types of dollars. That's not what it is. So I think that's going to remind some people about that too. But Mario continues to well, It's doing great on Peacock for uh, NBC Universal and their streaming service, Peacock. It's just, again, it's not going to be my favorite animated film of the year. It's not going to be in my top 10 final films of the year. But this was a charming, delightful Really good, out of the gate. First time Nintendo's done a movie since the old live action uh, Mario Brothers movie back when we were kids. I mean, it's just another testament to its success. Number one universal film of all time in Japan. Congratulations to them as they continue to desperately try to stay ahead of Barbie. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looks like fun at first. They probably even threw in a free phone, but now you can't get off. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills, like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just 15 bucks a month. You guys know before I came to Mint Mobile, I was paying triple what I am paying now on the standard big wireless plan, and I will never go back. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped right to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com dot com slash campia cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia anyway chris you read this story what 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 are the things that stand out to you the most in this this movie has gone farther than i think anyone thought possible oh, yeah. it is just dominating still and it did premiere later in japan and everything too and it's still out there but this is incredible it does speak too to this the the global love of super mario brothers if you think that Americans love Mario, hang on to your butt. Oh, yeah. Because, man, Japanese markets love all of the Mario games and everything. They have such a deep love. The Universal Mario World was over there first and was really kind of setting the standard for how that was going to be run and everything. So he's a cultural icon that's really part of their zeitgeist as well. So I think it's really cool that this little Italian plumber has made such an impact. And in Japan, if I'm not, I'm going to see a race, or Jonathan, yeah. maybe you can see if you can find a picture of this, but in japan they actually have mario kart tracks yep that you can actually go 
and race in a Mario Kart. I'm not talking about the virtual one like they have at Universal Studios Hollywood. No, you're in a car. By the way, have you been to that yet? Yes. Wasn't that a fun little oh ride? Oh my gosh, it's so fun. That virtual Mario Kart ride, that was really that. well done. Problem is you got to stand in line for three hours to yep. get into but, I gotta, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Ray. I got to say that even, let's say, if Barbie does overtake Mario, let's not take away from um, Mario's accomplishment. A lot of us, or a many, I've heard, I heard a lot of people say, why do we even need a Mario movie when it was first, like, when it was first planned? So let's just give it up for Barbie, Mario, all the ones that actually exceeded expectations. I <laughs> remember when, I, when we put out that video, like a month and a half before Mario came out, we put out the YouTube short where I said, Mario Brothers is going to be the number one film movie of the year. It's going to be the number one box office film of the year. Now, after it came out huge, a bunch of people said, well, yeah, we all kind of knew it would. Bull. Because when we put that video out, <laughs> I got so much pushback on that video when I said that. Now, it, ultimately, it may not end up being the number one film of the year. Barbie may very well catch it. It's definitely on track and on pace to catch it and pass it. Oh, is that? Is that the from the they, one in Japan? They do, they do tours like throughout, yeah, Japan, like on the streets. But they actually do also have official tracks where you can mm. go. It's yeah. Oh my! And, you can do Mario Kart running through yeah. the streets yeah. of Japan. That's the because <laughs> that's, that's so what great. I've seen. I'm like, oh. wow, that seems cool. You know, I always want to visit Japan, but if with my luck, I'll go there and then the kaiju come out. So. <laughs> and then the kaiju. <laughs> Like, I'm always scared of it. It's like the smallest island. Legitimately worried about the kaiju. It'll be the kaiju where you're going to get blue-shelled real bad, man. Something like that. I always like, I want to go there, but watch. The time I go there, it's going to snow where it never snowed, ever. (laughs) Or it's going to, kaiju are going to come out. (laughs) They're only going to attack Japan. (laughs) Um, Hey, guys, thanks for watching our video. Make sure you like and subscribe. But also, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show Podcast available on your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and find it, the John Campia Show Podcast, on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your preferred podcasting app.